Hello everyone and welcome to this new DIY Engineers video. In this video I want to show you my favorite Raspberry Pi 5 case for GPIO access and camera access with camera mount. I use this in my most recent project for a DIY smart frame with facial recognition and I really liked it. Frame is perfect. You can see the access to GPIO pins and how I have a 3D printed camera case set up and I really liked overall the frame is sturdy and it even has space inside for use with the active cooler. Here's the case. Let's open it up. It comes with the tuck cover, the bottom portion of it for rubber feet and a bunch of screws. All right, so step one, put the Raspberry Pi inside the case. Here you can see the placement and then you'll line up the holes of the Pi with the holes of the case and put the screws going through the top. It's not in place. You can see that's the car slot is all lined up. Push button to turn it on and the ethernet and USB ports. So next steps, I'll take these, which I'll, will allow access in the I.O. pins with more ease from the top of the case. And then you just put it over and line up the holes laterally and set the screws. There it is. We have access to our USB-C power, the two HDMIs. We have our Ethernet ports, USB 3.0 and 2.0. And then super easy access at the top to our GPIO pins. Yep, I really like it. I mean, it's compact. And like I said, my favorite part is the, the easy access to the GPIO pins while being able to have a th quick thing to attach a camera holder if you want to do any projects with camera. Here are the micro SD card slot. So I went ahead and made sure to remove the card while I was doing the work. And I can go ahead and put it back. And then you can also see the kit came with this rubber feet. If you want to set them in a surface and maintain good grip, I'll go ahead and put them now. To be honest, not perfect, but it's pretty stable. Once I set feet, don't really move. I mean, unless I'm really pushing it, but pretty stable. And it looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach my 3D printed camera holder. Like I said, you can go ahead and buy their official one, but I'm going with this. There it is. And now I just have to set the camera in place. So I'm using the official Raspberry Pi camera V2. So I'll attach the camera again. Like I said, pop out the tab and it goes like this. And as soon as you insert it, close the tab. And there it is. And that's where I'll set the screws. So there it is. Yeah. So we got the GPIO pins. The camera holder, access to the HDMI ports and USB-C, Ethernet and USB. This is exactly what I want. So that's it. I just wanted to show you my favorite Raspberry Pi 5 case for use on GPIO pin projects with camera holder. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.